we have now come to a final section of the chapter on binomial theorem. Okay, now this last section of binomial theorem is what is going. I mean, just what are you going to learn? Well, you're going to learn the NCR formula. Okay, then some of you may start to ask, hey, you know, this NCR formula. I mean, I I thought we can bring the calculator into the examination hall. Well, yes, you do. Okay, so I mean, if you can y bring your calculator into the examination hall, what for do we need to learn the NCR formula? I mean, we can just key in the calculator and get the values out very quickly. What for we need the formula? All right, now, uh, yes. The sad news is yes, all right. You have to learn this because there will be questions um, that are specifically targeted to test you on uh, this formula. Okay, if you cannot or if you don't know this formula, all right, you you should you won't be able to solve that kind of question. Okay. Well, before we learn about the kind of questions that um, that require the knowledge of your NCR formula, let's take a look at the formula. This is the NCR formula, okay? And it goes like, whoa, <laughs> right now. Um, similar to your binomial, ex uh, binomial theorem, okay? It looks rather intimidating at first glance, but actually, it is actually quite easy to remember. So it's not that difficult as it seems. All right, so NCR formula, th this is it, okay? It's basically n times n minus one times n minus two times n minus three times n minus four all the way until n minus r plus one divided by r factorial. Well, for those of you who are not so familiar with what exactly is factorial, r factorial is denoted by the um, exclamation mark. Okay, and what it means is basically r multiplied by r minus 1, multiplied by r minus 2, multiplied by r minus 3, until multiplied by 1. So there's r factorial. For example, 5 factorial will be actually 5 multiplied by 4, multiplied by 3, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 1. Okay, so it's something like a countdown kind of thing, right? It's 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so of course, I mean, 3 factorial, I mean, come on, you, you can guess it. 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1. Okay, so this is um, factorial. Now, although the NCR for formula looks terribly difficult, now that, that, like I said, there is a certain kind of pattern that once you know it, it's actually not that difficult. Okay, so I hope you are pretty good at the number pattern recognition type of thing. Okay, so because here I list out the working for 10C2, um, 10C3, and 10C4. Okay, let's see if you can spot anything. Alright, now the first thing that should strike you will be, of course, this 2 here. Okay, now whenever you NC2, this denominator will be a 2 factorial. If this is a 3, then this denominator will be a 3 factorial. When this R is a 4, and then of course this will be 4 factorial. Okay, now and of course I'm sure you notice that, well, the numerator is actually a countdown, right? It's a countdown of your 10, right? So it's like, it's uh, shown here, it's n multiplied by n minus 1 multiplied by n minus 2. So your n is 10, and therefore it's 10, 10 multiplied by 9 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 7. Okay, and in this case it's 10 multiplied by 9 multiplied by 8. Now, the question is, you know, okay, great, I know it's a countdown kind of thing, you know, like 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, and all. But how do I know when it stops? Okay, so this is what's going on. Now, whenever you have 10c4, you know that, okay, the numerator is made up by four terms, okay, which means to say that when you count down four times, you do, you know, 10, 9, 8, 7, stop, okay, because you have four terms already, you don't go to six, right, likewise here, okay, you have 10, 9, 8, three terms, because nc3, okay, likewise here, we have 10c2, right, so 10c2, we have only two terms, 10 multiplied by 9, two terms. Okay, so this will make things a lot, a lot easier for you to manage. Okay, now here are some more examples. Okay, so let's take a look. 5c2 simply means 5, 4 over 2 factorial. Okay, 5c3 simply means 5, 4, 3, you stop, and then you have 3 factorial. 5c4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, you stop here, and you have 4 factorial. Okay, now of course, 
uh, you know, 4 factorial means 4 multiplied by 3, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 1, and that will give 24. Okay? So, this is what the NCR formula is. Okay, so hopefully, you know, after knowing this formula, you can go and impress your friends. Like, for example, now you can tell a friend that, hey, I know what is, uh, you know, uh, 5C2, because 5C2 is simply 20 divided by 2, and I know it's 10. Okay, so anyway, I want to draw your attention to this version of the same formula. Right, in certain textbooks, um, I don't know which one, but you may come across another um, NCR formula that looks a little like this. Okay, now, oh, this looks bad, now this looks like it's easier. I don't know, some students actually find this looks easier. Okay, now, the fact of the matter is, this is definitely a lot easier for you to work on. Okay, well, why? Or simply to say, well, it is not easy to manage um, three factorials all the time. I mean, all over the place. I mean, you have three exclamation marks here. Okay, so it is not easy for you to manipulate it algebraically. All right, um, and therefore it becomes harder to solve. Okay, so this version is something that I hope uh, you know you you don't uh, have too much trouble with because it's just the same. All right, they are the same uh, formula. Okay, for the same results. All right, so try to remember just this one. Okay, so to avoid confusion because this one will be more than enough to help you. Okay, and in fact, this is the NCR formula that will stick to you uh, if you proceed on to A-level math, okay, um, when you start to learn binomial series. Okay, we'll talk about that. Alright, so, um, the next thing that you will ask is, so what kind of questions will require this formula? I mean, it seems to me that, you know, so far, all these values that I've shown here, all these values can be uh, can be calculated using the calculator. So why do I have to memorize all this? I mean, why, why do I have to know this at the first place? Why can't I just use my calculator? Well, in the next example, okay, will be exactly one example to show you um, how to use this formula and uh, when this formula becomes the most critical.